Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. In this video guys, we're gonna talk about lambda expressions. So basically from the previous video, we have worked with our simple application and then we have implemented a simple button right here. And of course, we set the on action event for that and implemented the handle method, which will execute this particular statement. You have clicked the button and then we add that particular button to the, uh, stack pane root and then adding root to our scene and scene to our primary stage. So basically, we're going to talk about lambda expressions and Lambda expressions, guys, are available in Java version 8. So, Java Lambda expressions are Java's first step into functional programming. So, a Java Lambda expression is a function which can be created without belonging to any class. So, it can be expressed and can be passed around as if it was an object and can be executed on demand. So Java expressions or Java Lambda expressions are commonly used to implement simple event listeners or callbacks or in functional programming with the Java Streams API. So now let's try to implement Lambda expressions with our program. So let's try to add another button here that will try or that will exit if we click on that particular button so btn or yeah button and this will be the exit button and new button and the label for this will be exit so as i've said in this video or in this button every every time we click on this button we ca we will exit with our program okay so basically what we can do here is set the action event or on action event for our button so basically to do that is we need the button object exit and then set set on action and then e and then um, dash and then the greater than sign and of course the statement that we want to um execute so something something like um system that out the print line and then um exit something okay and basically we want to add this button to our um layout so basically now we're adding this button to the stack pane root but for now let's just add or maybe use another layout which is called uh, vbox so vbox is a layout that will align your element vertically so let's try that import the vbox and uh, under root that get children and then we have this add and then btn which will add the first button right there so we can use another method which is add all and then we can add another object button to this. So BTN and then of course the exit. Okay. So let's try to um, run our program just to see if uh, it is working. So now we have like uh, we don't get the exit button. Let's try this once again. Vbox and then we add the add all okay there you go btn exit and then yeah i think that's good let's just uh clean and build our program and run this main file once again so there you go click me so every time we click on this button it will display uh something into our console okay and of course if we try to exit this one or click this exit as you can see another method or another expression is printed which is exit okay so basically um, instead of exit so for example we want to exit or instead of the word exit we can actually 
exit from our application by using the keyword uh, system dot exit and then specifying the status which is zero okay there you go and in this video guys we can also set the title of our stage or our window by using the method set title specifying a string so for example java effects demo okay and of course guys if you want to execute more or more than one line of statement you can use curly braces after the greater than sign so instead of directly saying system that out or system that exit and then zero you can have like um more statement inside this lambda expression so so for example you want to um execute first or execute another statement before setting our program so system that out the print line and then shall we say your program is now closing okay so save this and let's try to run our code so click me and then exit so if it, if you try to click this one but uh, as you can see we don't see the title of our um, window so let's just clean and build our application and run this again just to reflect the changes so as you can see here we now have the title of our window javafx demo and click on this and once again you are seeing the expression you click the button or something like that and then if you click on this you can actually exit your program and then before exiting you can see here your program is now closing so i think that's it guys and we have discussed on how to work with java lambda expressions and in the next video guys we're gonna talk about the uh, installing scene builder to our uh, netbeans ide and of course we are, we're gonna talk about events with java effects uh, scene builder so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video